Uh, this is uh, the battery completely died while driving, so I'm just going to take a quick look at some stuff while doing this because sometimes I've gotten to where you know you get out here and you can find the problem and it's you know you save the customer uh, from the tow. I mean, obviously, I know I'm a tow truck driver, but um, you know, it, and I know it would change it to a service to where it wouldn't be as much because this tow is going a little bit of a ways, but. You still take care of your customers. Make sure everything's hooked up. Okay. Looks pretty good. Let's see. This is a friend of families. I haven't actually ever met this person, but it's a very close friend of mine's family member. So, I guess you... Yeah, friend of the family. Or a friend of a friend... A friend's family member. Yeah, that's what it is. A friend, a friend's family member. Okay. So go, you wreck what? Oh, you wreck does work. Okay, Sam and Lee, sure. Yeah. Something's going on that's not like a movie. Okay, that's a fuel issue. Okay. It's not firing over. Okay, that tells me that I can't fix it here. So my truck is an older truck, y'all, which means that my incline, so I don't have airbags, right? So that means my incline's uh, a little bit steeper than any of the newer trucks, honestly, okay? So with that being said, I have to do things a little bit differently than what a lot of the trucks that are currently out on the road or that what you guys that could possibly be watching now may be driving. But what I will let you know is, is that um, if you look my bed is just a little bit steeper like i said i don't have airbags and so what i do and even though this is an older car you know I treat them all the same i'm a lamborghini i mean i did a ferrari ferrari would get the same treatment right and i'm serious i mean people love their vehicles and i love my vehicle you know i love my truck i love my cars anyways my car the one i got all right and so see what i've done here is now, I can guarantee by the time my tires get to the bed, I'm going to be having some issues. So, and, and I'm not going to use my ramps on this one because the ramps, you know what, let's just, the ramps might be actually, I'm being a little indecisive. I'm going to go with these, the skates, my T skates. I'll put a link, pop it up right here. Pew! There's your link. You'll see it. And it'll show you the price of them and how awesome they are. I use them all the time. You guys can literally go to back to quite a few of my videos. I mean, like, a lot. And you're going to see me utilizing these ramps, uh, these skates as ramps. And I did get some... Oh, look, y'all. Y'all see... Do you see that? I did not hook up to that. Huh. That's uh, that's no good. There's another one back here. That's the guy I'm gonna go to. But man, look, that was a circle one. That wasn't an oval one. I'm gonna look on the other side. It's probably the same. Uh oh, here comes the garbage truck. Oh no, Jesse, Jesse, get downstairs and get your popsicles. You know the old dude from Family Guy. <laughs> Got some candy in my pocket. <laughs> it's awful. Oh god, it's so wrong. Anyways, come on. Yeah, the old man. <laughs> he's always got his little walker and that dog with no legs. That he's well, he's got legs, but he's <laughs> the, the dog is uh, dragging. <laughs> he's dragging his legs because he's got the same kind of stuff because they're both. Oh, they're both old. <laughs> oh, guys. Speaking, I know this is like a, a serious change, but so I have a subscriber. Um, he was like one of my OG subscribers. His name is Mike May. Come on through, bro. Thank you. And so I hadn't heard from Mr. Mike. Wow, look at that cool old cab over, man. Oh, it's not old, but wow. That's a nice truck, dude. Anyways. So I had have a subscriber i haven't heard from man usually he would comment on almost every video and 
uh, Mike May. I'm gonna actually stick one of his comments with his tag so you guys can kind of see, hopefully, if anybody knows him. He's down in Florida, he's a tow truck driver. Um, he's given me some of the best advice pot like that I could get. Um, he's, man, he taught me about Formula 88, which is a perfect, uh, it's like a chemical for cleaning the bed and great for sliding vehicles off of your truck. Um, I have videos where I've used it and it, it is better than WD-40. Guys, it, there's nothing better than that as far as something to slide it. Uh, see how that, y'all see that? How it's staying off of the bed? You see the tires and how they're lifted because of the lip? Yeah, I love the, the one thing about the skates, man, is there are certain situations where they are the best for a little ramp, you know? Um, but yeah, so, you know, I'm probably paranoid, but he's a tow truck driver and he was also seasoned. So when I say that, the man is, uh, he, whenever, one of his first comments uh, that he ever commented in my videos, uh, he was just talking about how uh, it's nice, you know, as being older, seeing some of the newer guys, you know, loving what we do and taking pride in the work that we do. And most importantly, um, just the, the compact, like, you know, I'm compassionate about my work. I uh, care about my job and I, I love what I do. I always have like this. I, I really can't say why, but it's almost everything about this work. I love it. It's fun, it's interesting. You never know what your next job's gonna be. There's always so many different challenges. You know, and I, I go back to my ADHD because you know what it is for me is I'm a big person. Like I can't sit in an, in an office and just sit there all day. Like I absolutely have to have stimulation. Like I gotta get out and do things. Um, it's just, we're all different. We're all, we all have different hats that are for different purposes. But I'm gonna tell you right now, mine 100% is gonna be like, this is it. Because I love it. But anyways, you guys, let me get these straps on this thing. I'm gonna get some um, pictures and stuff and make sure my customer's good and I got a phone call coming in. Let me get with y'all here in a second. Thank y'all so much for watching. Smash that thumbs, that like button. Thank you. We'll do something we normally don't do, give y'all a little bit of riding time. actually a strange story um, it's it's a friend of the family that I um, whenever I was younger I was a, a hellion I really don't know a better word for it it's for sure what I was called by my grandma um, so I was a hellion you know I was rambunctious and did a lot of wild stuff so this customer of mine is actually um, family related to a person who um, I had made some poor decisions back in my past, and whenever I was younger, I was, uh, uh, I'd stolen a vehicle, and I got caught, and went to jail, and did time and stuff. I actually, it was the longest time I'd ever done. I think I did, uh, I don't know, about 18 months on that bid total, and uh, right after that, when I got out of jail, I lost my mom. She passed away, and then when my mom died, uh, I had to grow up. I didn't have, so my mama, uh, you know, God rest her soul, her name was Darlene Malone. I'll put a little picture up here. And uh, so mama, she, she, she died of cardiac arrest and after she passed, uh, and she actually died, I was right there, she died. She was in, it happened in my arms, like it was actually how it happened. And you know, it is what it is, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, better about being able to deal with it. It was definitely hard, extremely hard, because uh, she, she, I was the youngest of my siblings, and so I was kind of a baby, to, so to speak, and so I was really attached to my mom. Anyways, it was one of my mom's close friends, and they come and we were, I mean, this is no joke, we were living in a camper. Uh, we were living in a, 
it was a mallard 38 foot camper that um, I think it slept uh, I mean of course you know everything turned into a bed so it slept like 10 or 12 but literally guys uh, that night that I did this stupid mistake um, me and my mom my dad and my brother and my daughter were already all living in a camper right and then because these friends of ours didn't have a place to stay um, my mom was always willing to give up uh, you know cook dinner for homeless people and you know give them a place to stay for a night if we had a room kind of thing and even though we didn't have the room these were close friends and mom let them stay the night well you know it is what it is the situation ended up being uh, they had like some type of uh, Xanaxes man and I'm like yeah I was a uh, you know I wasn't a kid you know, obviously I was um, I was beyond I was a grown at this time so they I took these Xanaxes you guys and apparently I'm allergic to them because uh, whenever I take them, I break out in handcuffs. And so, sure enough, y'all, uh, I apparently, I, and I don't remember much of it. To be perfectly honest, I don't remember any of it except for waking up in jail. But um, apparently, I stole their car in the middle of the night. Um, they had, keep in mind, we were already, you know, what was that said? Me, my dad, my brother, my kid, and uh, my mom. So all of us in that little camper. And then they had Kelly, Jeff, Cameron, uh, and their kids so it was another four or five so anyways something happened in the middle of the night I guess I, after I took the pills I got up and I took the car and ran out of gas somewhere um, I don't really know where but I ran out of gas and um, got arrested and I got uh, charged for theft um, of uh, theft of a motor vehicle and ordering and prowling or something like that and I went to jail and uh, after doing that bid you know I got out like I said I'd lost my mom and uh, when that happened I had this fire lit up underneath me to do better than what everyone I ever, what everyone else already thought that I was gonna do like everyone didn't ex no one expected me to do anything with my life it was actually expected for me to crash and burn and after losing my mom, I wanted to make sure that her death wasn't for nothing. I know this is probably way too deep for a towing video, guys, and I might not ever even upload this, but if I do, just know that I'm kind of sharing with you guys what really lit the fire up underneath my butt to do more for myself and my life than just, you know, drugs and laying up and not being, a, just being a nobody, you know, and so, I got tired of it and I wanted to make sure that after losing my mom that I could make the most of that and build my life up and be something, somebody, make my family proud, take good care of my kids, you know? And so this actual toe, uh, it's, it's, it's just kind of a big deal, so to speak, just can, because of the fact that this customer is actually absolutely um, related to someone who in my past uh, you know, I had I had stolen their vehicle apparently. You know, not apparently, but I did. I mean, there's no getting away from that. I did, but uh, yeah. So you know, I just figured I'd share that with you guys. You know, it is what it is. I'm not proud of it at all, but that does go to show you can come from nothing and make something out of your life, guys. This is my business. You know, Town Lake Towing is my dream. The YouTube channel, that's my dream. Um, and you guys can pursue your dreams. There's nothing to it. It's just once your mind is set, you do not take your eyes off of that prize, you know, that ultimate goal that you're trying to achieve. And if it's a really big goal, break that goal down into goals that are a lot smaller and more achievable. That way you can get your instant gratification out of the deal. Because it's a big deal to feel like you're getting somewhere. Because sometimes, like I said, I've been recording these videos, guys, for a year. And, you know we're getting so close to being monetized you know and i'll be able to get youtube to pay me but i haven't you know i haven't seen a penny from youtube thank god for the affiliates and the sponsors right you know my t you guys have been amazing thank you but if it weren't for them you guys i wouldn't have there would be nothing to show for my efforts except for a thousand videos uploaded to youtube right so anyways you guys i love y'all i appreciate y'all watching man uh i'm gonna get this thing down the road i'll see y'all at drop
don't forget to smash that like button and then um, you know subscribe to the channel if you already have it man this is totally different than anybody else's I promise you that thanks for watching all right y'all back to business this gentleman's name is mr. Kenny this is his shop so you got your little shop here no, this is my house. but you work on stuff that's right Before I leave, I'll give you some cards if you ever if you ever need a tow truck out here, I'll help, I'll help you out. You better believe it. I'll take good care of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, for me, it's uh usually they go hand in hand, you know, a mechanic and tow truck. It's almost like uh it's like a cousin situation. We need each other, you know, and so and then a lot of times a mechanic will be a tow truck driver too, you know, and so I've been doing a little bit of stuff on the side learning, but uh, I know this well, it's just, you know, it takes, you can't call yourself a mechanic until you know how to do everything, you know, and that's, man, yes, sir, one of the big, okay, doing the, uh, doing the, doing the tractors and stuff, yes, sir, and the recoveries and the rollovers, yeah, man, the, probably know, you know, you heard of Alpha Tolling? Absolutely, Alpha. I put them, I put them on the top of that. Yes, sir, um, whenever I was, uh, when Frank got killed recently, uh, I seen their trucks up there at the, uh, yeah, I seen their trucks. You know, I think that, um, it's almost like, it's a brotherhood, it's a community of, of, of people who get together and look out for each other, or at least that's the way it's supposed to be, of course, you know, um, not everyone's the same, but most of us, Man, if I see a guy on the side of the road and I see him struggling or if it's a nasty spot on a bend, yeah, I'll stop and throw my lights on and help him out. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's yeah, Bill. So look, okay. I uh my first time ever riding in a tow truck, my dad's car caught on fire. All right, it was an old Chrysler. And when it caught on fire, it was right there at Bascom. He turned into Buddy's. Buddy's is uh, right next door to Bill's. And I didn't know it at the time, you know, of course, but it was Bill who come out and he had a fire extinguisher, put the car out, loaded it up on the rollback and took us home. So yeah, my first time ever riding in a flatbed tow truck was with Bill Ingram, no joke. But yeah, and then when all that happened with him, um, of course, you know, I went for the ride and stuff into the funeral and he knew everything about the job. So if that tells you right there, no matter how good you are, it could happen to any of us. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. So yeah, that's one thing I've uh, I've come to realize is, is there's no sense in being gun shy. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. If it's your time, it's your time. Cause he knew he knew everything there was to know. So you can't prevent it if it's gonna happen. You that's know. What, like if I'm on 75 or something, I work with the passenger side. Always, yes sir. You better believe it. Yes sir. I know a gentleman. Uh, his name was. I was actually just talking about him. His uh, name's Mike May. He was down in Florida, and he was working on the same side of the truck, and he got pinned. He got pinned in between the truck and the vehicle and the toolbox. Man, that's a bad... I mean, really, uh, you know, we're always trying to consider, okay, where's the best place to be? Sometimes there is no best place. You, it's all a matter of luck or whatever else is going on, you know what I mean? And so... Yep, watch. That's, and I have it happen to me often. I'll get out there and I'll have, sometimes it'll be a customer, sometimes it'll be, cause I've, you know, I've gotten out and I had to help other record drivers before because their truck broke down and they had something fail. And they're like, well, what are you doing? Just watch, I'll show you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm gonna put her in park real quick. Port keys. All right, you guys, I'm going to settle up with this customer. I appreciate y'all watching.